A three-year-old Wauwatosa girl can see for the first time thanks to a new procedure. Kareen Zell has a story of the youngest person to undergo this type of gene therapy. McKinley Sovey was born practically blind. She inherited a retinal disease. Despite the diagnosis, her parents tell me they always had hope. McKinley Sovey was drawn to our lights when we first visited her Wauwatosa home in January, but that's all she could see. Two surgeries and 11 months later, the three-year-old still likes our lights, but now it appears she knows what she's looking at. After the surgery, the surgeon can't just examine her and be like, yep, it was successful. It's moments like this, Parker and Julie Sovey know it worked. Her mom won't ever forget that first look. I can't even really explain it. You know, she's three years old and she looks at mom for the first time. It was a really, really cool moment and it was the moment I had been waiting for. For dad, it's the way she's moving with a purpose now. This is McKinley eating yogurt after the second surgery. She used yeah. to feel around for whatever it is she was eating, then she'd put her hands in it to see what it was, and then she'd put the spoon in it, and usually it was dumped by the time it got to her face. Dr. Stephen Russell with the University of Iowa Hospital performed both eye surgeries with the gene therapy earlier this month. Complicated drug, because it has multiple parts to the drug, and complicated surgery to make sure we delivered the drug to the appropriate tissues. It's basically forcing DNA into the right cell. So we had to do a surgery just to put the solution in the appropriate spot, which is in the area underneath the retina. Were you worried? Did you think this I might was, work? yes, because they said one of the first things you'll see is that she'll become very light sensitive, and she didn't. McKinley will probably still be visually impaired, but her parents say any progress is a bonus. She may no longer need to be a braille reader, I don't know if she'll need to use a cane to navigate. The surgery has made McKinley more confident, and her parents say even her personality is changing. McKinley has some checkups scheduled, but doctors hope she won't need another surgery.